Welcome back, friends. In this video, we're going to do some face swapping and have a little bit of fun. So I'm starting off with a YouTube thumbnail and I'm going to head on over to the apps. In the apps section on the top where there is the search bar, I'm going to search for face swap. And there are quite a few apps uh, that kind of work similarly. Some of them have a few credits you can use and some of them once you use one credit you have to pay to continue your subscription um, but i found that all of them work pretty much the same and today i'm going to use one called face swapper so it's this one it's got it's yellow and it's got a smiley face so i'm going to click on that and um, first off the bat, uh, it tells you what the app does and um, it just lists further what it will do. At the bottom, you can just click the purple button to open it. And um, it gives you the option whether you want to do single face swaps or multiple face swaps. So we're gonna do a single face swap. And for this app, you actually have to have your images on your computer and upload them. So for the original face, I'm going to uh, go to my files and use the statue as my original face. And then I'll choose the woman for my new face. And once you're happy with your selections, click the purple button. And it will take a couple of minutes, so hang tight. All right, so here is my new design. I'm going to click on the purple button to add this to my design. Here it is. Now let's bring the image of my woman back into uh, my design. So here it is. The picture of the woman. And I'm just going to make those smaller just so that we can compare all three together. So here is the image of my the original statue. And so this plus this equals this right here. So what do you think, guys? Is this something that you would use or maybe you wouldn't use it? I don't know. Let's take this one more step further and I'll create a new page and I'm going to place the image, the original image back on my workspace. Here it is right here. Now, if you want to create a fun uh, photo for a friend or a family, we could take that image. So I'm going to take a copy of it and bring it to my second page. I'm going to paste it here and I am going to remove the background. So here is that image here and I am just going to superimpose that right on top so that it looks uh, seamless. Now I'm just going to crop this because I don't need um, all of that image. Let me zoom in just so that we can um, all see. And again, I'm just going to layer right on top like that. Anyhow, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is this something you would use? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Did you like this tutorial? Did you hate it? Um, is there anything else that you want to see? Drop it in the comments. And for now, I'll say bye-bye. Until next time.